You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much of love drives a man insane. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be, we are back and better than ever, and sitting to my left are Taylor and Carrington, they're so embarrassed and humiliated as being part of this video, I can't help it, I think it's because they think this is sort of geeky, but I don't care, we are talking about natural logarithms, so let's get to it, shall we, okay, so... Um, natural logs, what are those? Those are logarith logarithms with a special base E, the number E. We've already talked about the number E, um, and we use a base E in logarithms so much that the natural log gets its own special notation. We use LN. It is the same as any other log. Um, natural log of x is actually a logarithm with base e, as I'm showing you here, like I just said. But again, we use it so often, it gets its own special notation with ln. It has all of the, the same, uh, it obeys, I, I guess you could say, um, or the same laws of logarithms, all the laws of logarithms apply to the natural log, okay? Um, y equals the natural log of x is the reflection of y equals e to the x in the mirror line y equals x. They are inverse functions. Yes, they are. Now, some special relationships we've got here. We have the natural log of e to the x is equal to, the, is equal to x. Well, that makes sense. That's just um, the relationship between exponential notation and logarithmic uh, notation because remember natural log has a base of e so e to the x must be equal to e to the x so that makes perfect sense um, that's with um, all other logarithms and this one e to the natural log of x is equal to x so this is an exponential form so if I put it in logarithmic form and say the log base e of x is equal to the natural log of x. See? See how that works? Um, it's just the log base e of x is the natural log of x as stated right up here. Now, let's take a look at this because this is a little weird. Um, we know that um, the ln e I'm sorry, to the natural log, we just said e to the natural log of x is equal to x, right here, okay? So e to the natural log of a is equal to a, all right? And then by rules of exponents, e to the natural log of a raised to the x power, yes, and we when we take an exponent to an exponent, we multiply them, then that is equal to a to the x as well. All I did is raise both sides um, uh, to the x power, and then following through with uh, multiplying the exponents, we get e to the x ln a is equal to a to the x. That's where this comes from. All right, so let's just check out a couple of examples. Um, use your calculator to write the following in the form e to the k, where k is correct to four decimal places. Well, we know um, from here, we know that e to the ln of x is equal to x. So let's, let's write that out. e to the natural log of x is equal to x. So I've got 50, so I'm going to write e to the natural log of 50, right? Use your calculator to write the following in the form e to the k, where k is correct to four decimal places, okay? And so that becomes, using uh, our calculator, um, e to the natural log of 50, that's right here, e, and the natural log of button is right above the e, so I hit control, natural log of 50, and I get 50, 
But now I'm just going to take, I just wanted to show you that, I'm going to take the natural log of 50, and I get 3.9120, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a picture of that, and we'll slap it on our whiteboard there. And so I can say that e to the natural log of 50, and they wanted it in the form of e to the k, is equal to e to the, well, this is approximately equal to, because I can't write, um, that's an infinite number of decimal places, so that would be 3.9120. So that is to five, four decimal places, sorry. And then 0 0.005, well, that is equal to e to the natural log of 0 0.005, and doing the same thing, I'm not going to do that over. I'm just going to tell you that if you take the natural log of 0 0.005, you get negative 5.2983. Okay, a couple of more examples. Um, find x if the natural log of x is equal to 2.17. Natural log of x equals 2.17. So remember, the base here is e, so we are in logarithmic form, and I can go to exponential form to solve this. So e to the 2.17 is going to be equal to x. And if you take your calculator and take e and raise it to the 2.17 power, you are going to get x approximately equal to 8.76, correct to three significant figures. And same thing here, uh, very simple, very easy. This is a base e. So e to the negative 0 0.384 is going to be equal to x. And again, if you take your calculator and work that out or punch it in, you're going to get x approximately equal to 0 0.681. Uh, believe it or not, that is almost it. Let's just take a quick look here to reemphasize that laws of natural logarithms are exactly the same as those with uh, laws of um, the logarithms we've dealt with before, the LOG logs. Again, natural log is a, it's just a special log. It gets its own special notation. All of the things we already have learned apply. Um, so I'm not going to do a whole bunch of these examples because we've been doing a bunch of them. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that I did. And until next time, I am out.